Yeah, in fact, this year, rip currents have claimed the lives of over, of over 30 people. And they've put countless others in danger. Who could forget this video from Panama City Beach earlier this month as beachgoers and first responders, they formed a human chain to rescue a man and woman caught in a rip current. They managed to pull the pair to safety, but one of the rescuers had to be rescued himself, too. This all happened as double red flags flew on the beach, which is indicates that it's too dangerous to be in the water. If you're planning to head to the coast, we want you to be prepared. Joining us now via Skype is Wayati Wenrith with the American Lifeguard Association. Uh, good morning, Wyatt. And uh, you recognize the, the flags that are up when there's threat of rip currents is present uh, is key. Kind of walk us through the flags and their meanings as people go to the beaches. Well, good morning from uh, sunny Cocoa Beach, Florida. And yes, you're right. Uh, we do have a flag system. But the most important thing we want to get across to people is swim near a lifeguard. We do have flag systems. We do have signs. We do have flotation devices available. But swimming in front of a lifeguard is paramount. The flags are just one of our tools. They're kind of like a stoplight. Green means they're normal conditions, no threats detected. Yellow is use caution. And red flag means don't go, stop. And of course, I mean, it's so difficult to spot a rip current when you're enjoying the beach with your family. Uh, so how can you identify a rip current when you're out there? Well, you know, one of the things I like to tell people is a very simple way to look at it is if you've been on the beach and the water comes up alongside you and gets everybody next to you wet, but you stay dry. Well, you're in that deep area of the gully. So you are in that area of that rip current. You want to stay on the high ground. So that's one way to kind of look at it. You have to look down the beach like we have here. And you can see little whoop de doos in the beach where it goes up and down. And in that little gully is where that rip current is because you have a sandbar, you have a little channel, and you have a feeder that feeds into that. And then you have the neck is where the d dangerous part is. And then you have the head that releases. So if you do get caught in a rip current, we want you to stay calm. Don't panic and swim parallel left or right out of the rip current onto the shallow bar and walk your way out. So you and other professional lifeguards, how do you guys not get caught in the rip current when you're out there trying to perhaps save a beach guard who might be caught in a rip current? Well, true watermen, lifeguards, surfers, people who love to come to the beach and understand it, we respect uh, rip currents, and they are in our favor. If we have someone that's in trouble, we jump right into the rip current and ride it out to them because we get there faster. Surfers use them to get out quicker because they, they pull them out past the waves. But they are very dangerous, and you just have to understand them, be educated, and respect them. Yeah, absolutely. Wyatt Werneth with American Lifeguard Association National. Thank you so much for joining us and giving us those tips. And we asked you earlier if uh, you were surfing at the beach during a thunderstorm, what would you do to survive? Well, here's the answer.